it is all sitting right there for the Washington Redskins. A win today in Philadelphia, and they are in the playoffs for the first time since the 1999 season. First down, Philadelphia, and the handoff is to Bruce Perry. Perry, a nice run on first down. Picked up nine and a half. It depends on the spot. And a handoff is to Moats. He's got a first down for Philly and Moore. McMahon sets up quickly and throws, and it's tipped and incomplete off the hands of Springs. And now from 49, it is off the crossbar and through. Good attempt. They came in and overruled it incomplete, and now a muff punt. Washington will take over that Sellers downfield, and it's Sellers who comes away with a football. Their best special teams player, Mike Sellers, a bruising fullback. You know, Mike Sellers, he's one of those players on this team that's just carved himself out a nice niche within the offense, within the special teams, and now in what is their biggest game of the season, he's able to get down the field and then recover the muff punt. Heck of a job on the hustle. He just took his eyes off it and then laid it on the ground, but the Redskins alertly looking for it and were able to recover it. Eagles come on a blitz. Redskins hand it off to Portis. And Portis picks up 12. Brian Dawkins on the stop. It's third down and four. Brunel over the middle, wide open is Moss. And down he goes inside the five. First and goal, Washington. 16-yard hookup. And he does a heck of a job in motion, and then he's going to come up on a guy and then cross his face. So when he gets across, you see as he steps up the field, he plants to the outside, comes underneath, and that's the one place where a defensive back cannot let you go in that coverage. You cannot give Moss the interior of the field. First and goal. That's Sellers. That's a touchdown. His seventh touchdown reception of the season. And Sellers is on the receiving end to put Washington out in front. It's third down and eight. A blitz from the Redskins. The pass complete. And that's good for a first down. That is Brown, the rookie. Third down and eight. McMahon over the middle. McMullen for a first down. Play action from McMahon. But it's Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A blitz from the Redskins. McMahon is flushed. Flips it. L.J. Smith wide open. First down near the 11. Second down and seven from the eight. Over the middle. Brown will get this one. Touchdown, Philadelphia. On third and 11, Brunel. Goes down the field for Thrash, behind the defense, first down at the 15-yard line. A huge completion on third down and 11 from Mark Brunel to James Thrash, a former Eagle. And he sets up pretty well. Now, a good call by moving him a little bit so he's not stationary and the Eagles know where he's going to be. Now, the reason that Thrash got so open was because everybody ran with Santana Moss down the middle of the field. Roderick Hood, nobody was threatening him in the flat. He should have continued to carry James Thrash up the sideline. Snap a little high, but Hall drills it. 35 seconds left and one timeout for the Eagles up seven. A blitz from the Redskins. Over the middle, McMullen. Washington knocks it away, 
and the Redskins recover. Marcus Washington forced it, and the Washington Redskins see Marcus come away with a football. He did get enough for a first down. Brunel's going to air it out for Moss. Santana Moss. They're saying he's still in bounds, and he's ripped down at the six. Brought down by Sheldon Brown. Now here he is going in motion. Obviously man to man because Sheldon Brown is in motion with him. And that's just flat speed. Sheldon Brown was off. He had the angle. And yet Moss was still able to run by him. And on second look, maybe he did not go out of bounds. Second and goal. A toss to Portis. Cuts it up. Gets it in. Touchdown Washington. So they take the opening kickoff of this second half. Clinton trying to breathe life back into that football. <laughs> and with the extra point coming, here they are seconds away from tying a game they need to win. With 11.39 left in the third quarter, McMahon fires and hits a wide open Greg Lewis. McMahon flips it up for Brown. Brown! caught it at the one and now they're saying out of bounds when the officials got together they said he was out of bounds well that was a heck of a catch just for reggie brown to make you see he got one foot down the other one was out of out of bounds a good call by the official that greg williams is getting ready to start giving wall harris some help problem is how do you do it when you don't have Sean Springs on the other side this is Perry and Perry picks up 10 they move McMahon to his right fires into the end zone and incomplete awful lot of contact and it looked like Greg Lewis was the one who was doing most of the interference Ronaldo Wynn blocked one last week against the Giants David Akers drills the 35-yard try. And that means that the Eagles are back out in front. Four wide receivers set for the Eagles. A blitz from the Redskins. This is McMullen. And it goes right past his ear. And that's a touchdown if they're able to connect. So far, 30%. On third down today are the Eagles. This third down throw is back. That's Lamar Marshall, his fourth interception of the season, and it comes at a huge time for this Redskins defense. A turnover that this Washington offense desperately needed. It sets him up at the 22-yard line of Philadelphia, down by three. Handoff is to Portis. Clinton Portis trying to get around Hood. He does. Touchdown. And just like that, after the interception by Lamont Marshall, the Redskins on the very first play get a 22-yard touchdown run from Clinton Portis, who is now up over 1,500 yards for the season. It's third down and nine. McMahon with time slings it to L.J. Smith. And Smith has a first down inside the Washington 40. But now here are the Eagles with a second down at the Redskins 36. And now McMahon loses the ball. It's out. A flag is down. The Redskins fall on top of it. And it's Joe Salavea. The ball at the Eagle 36. Denver has it knocked out of his hand. That's being ruled a fumble. The scramble for the loose ball. It's in the arms of Taylor. Sean Taylor will glide to the end zone and jump for the touchdown. Philip Daniels knocked it away. He's had two huge games coming in. He makes a big play there for the Redskin defense. That was a heck of a play by Philip Daniels getting in there on his backside and going after the football to cut it loose. You called it, Joe. He's had a heck of a run here over the last couple of weeks. Finally healthy, 
getting after the quarterback both from his defensive end position as well as inside when he goes to defensive tackle. They needed him to make a play there, and he did. Detmer at quarterback dropping back, and it was Daniels who has been phenomenal for this defense. Five sacks his last two games, seven on the season, knocking it free. And Sean Taylor picked it up, ran it back. And with that score, it's 31-20 Washington, and they are on their way to Tampa Bay to take on the Buccaneers next weekend. And a heck of a job by Philip Daniels as far as just going after the ball. He very easily could have gone after the sack, but instead he went after the ball first and knocked it loose. And now Joe Gibbs, who is 16-5 in his career in the postseason, appears headed back. Two minutes left. Detmer throws and it's picked off. That is the sixth turnover as Ryan Clark comes away with it. His third interception. L.J. Smith, the intended receiver, and that is six turnovers by the Eagles. While they played them tough, they basically handed this game to the Redskins. They're giving Greg Williams the, the Gatorade bath. And, you know, what a great time right now for the Washington Redskins and Joe Gibbs going back to the playoffs. That's what these guys have worked so hard all year long to do. And now the real season's about to begin. It is the NFL's second season. It's playoff time for the Washington Redskins going there for the first time since 1999. Congratulations to Joe Gibbs, who in his second year of his return has the Redskins in the playoffs.